The AL Hacking Toolkit is a controversial software marketed as a utility for interacting with social media and messaging platforms. Its name suggests hacking and unauthorized access. Promoted on tech forums and shady websites, it claims to automate tasks, extract information, and manipulate account features. For example, it says it can download entire chat histories or access private information. These are claims from its creators and not verified. This information is for awareness only. Let's look at what the AL Hacking Toolkit claims to offer. First, it advertises account monitoring, supposedly letting users see another person's messages and call logs in real time. It also claims to extract data, like downloading entire chat histories, photos, videos, and contact lists. These features represent a massive invasion of privacy. The toolkit goes further, boasting about account manipulation, sending messages, deleting conversations, or changing profile info without the owner's knowledge. Some versions even claim to operate in stealth mode, running silently and avoiding detection. The creators market this as a secret backdoor into someone's digital life. These claims, if true, would undermine the security systems that protect us all. Even if exaggerated, the mere promise of these features is deeply concerning. The toolkit's appeal is its promise of power, but that power comes at a high ethical and legal cost. It's a tool designed for secrecy and control, not legitimate use. Let's break down these claims further. Here's a simple list of what the AL Hacking Toolkit claims it can do. Message access, reading all private and group chats, both new and old. Media file extraction, downloading all photos, videos, voice notes, and documents from an account. Call log monitoring, tracking voice and video calls, including who was called, when, and for how long. Some versions even claim to record call audio. Location tracking, accessing GPS data shared through the app, potentially mapping a person's movements in real time. These features, if real, would allow for deep surveillance and control over someone's digital and even physical life. The idea that a tool could copy all your conversations, media, and locations is disturbing. It's a clear violation of privacy and trust. Even if these claims are exaggerated, the risks are real. Tools like this could be used for stalking, blackmail, or worse. The threat goes far beyond the digital world. That's why understanding these claims matters. Why does the AL Hacking Toolkit get so much attention? It promises power access to secrets, control over others, and the ability to confirm suspicions. This appeals to people's curiosity, insecurity, and desire for control in a digital world. But downloading such tools is risky. The sites offering them are often filled with malware and scams. The very tool that claims to help you hack could end up hacking you. The shock value of its claims also fuels media coverage and online discussions, creating a cycle of curiosity and controversy. The toolkit's infamy makes it seem more real and powerful than it may actually be. It also taps into feelings of helplessness. People want to take back control from big tech companies. But this is an illusion. Using such a tool only leads to legal and ethical trouble. The attention it gets is a warning sign, not an endorsement. In reality, it's a dangerous trap for anyone tempted to use it. The risks far outweigh any supposed benefits. Let's look at what's real and what's hype. Let's separate fact from fiction. Fact, the AL Hacking Toolkit is advertised online, targeting people who want unauthorized access to accounts. Security experts are highly skeptical. Modern apps use strong encryption, making these claims unlikely. Most of these tools are scams or malware, designed to steal your money or infect your device. The biggest unknown is whether the tool works at all. Its code isn't public, and its creators are anonymous. We don't know how it supposedly works or if it does anything at all. The lack of transparency and accountability is a huge red flag. Users have no recourse if something goes wrong, and victims have no one to blame. In short, the risks are real, but the tool's actual power is highly questionable. The ethical issues with the AL Hacking Toolkit are obvious. It's designed to violate privacy. Secretly reading messages, viewing private photos, or tracking someone's location is a profound betrayal of trust. Legally, using such a tool is a crime in most countries. Unauthorized access to digital accounts can mean fines or prison. Downloading these toolkits is also a massive security risk. They're often malware in disguise. You could end up with your own data stolen or your device held for ransom. 
These tools normalize spying and force tech companies to divert resources from innovation to defense. If a real vulnerability is found, it's sold to criminals not reported for a fix. The result? A less safe digital world for everyone. Using or spreading these tools only fuels distrust and insecurity online. The bottom line, there's no ethical or safe way to use the L hacking toolkit outside of strict legal research. Are there any legitimate uses for a tool like this? In rare controlled settings, yes, cybersecurity researchers might analyze it in a lab to understand threats and improve defenses. Students in cybersecurity programs could study it under supervision using only test systems. Law enforcement may use similar tools, but only with a warrant and strict oversight. Parental monitoring apps exist, but they're transparent, require consent, and are fundamentally different from secret hacking tools. The Ale Hacking Toolkit is designed for secrecy and non-consensual spying, making it unethical and illegal for regular users. Legitimate use is limited to research, education, or law enforcement, and always with clear boundaries. For everyone else, it's a legal and ethical minefield. Responsible digital monitoring is about transparency, not deception. The AL Hacking Toolkit fails that test. Tools like AL Hacking force us to confront urgent issues. How can laws keep up with anonymous developers and global distribution? What responsibility do tech platforms and search engines have to block the spread of these tools? Education is key. Teaching people, especially youth, about the dangers and consequences of these tools. An informed public is our best defense. These questions are essential for a safer digital future. The AL Hacking Toolkit is likely a scam, malware, or both. The risks are real, legal trouble, ethical violations, and cybersecurity disasters. The best defense is awareness and strong security habits. Use strong, unique passwords and enable two-factor authentication on every account. Never share your login info and be skeptical of amazing claims. There's no magic tool for hacking secure apps. Don't fall for the hype. Stay informed, stay cautious, and protect your digital life.